What's up everybody? It's me, Jacob, J and J Engraves. Uh doing a quick video today. Um gonna be experimenting. So uh I'm going to try to do a, a good looking picture on a stone with my CO2 laser engraver. And I'm gonna walk you guys through what I'm doing and hopefully we can get some good results at the end of this. Um it's a little tricky what you would need. What I'm using is, uh, let me grab one. Uh, these guys here, you can buy them from Lowe's. They're called beach pebbles, I think. I buy them out at like the landscaping area, at Home, Home Depot, Lowe's. Whole bag of them. This is a kind of a round one. So this one wouldn't be like the best to engrave on because it wouldn't have the best flat surface. I mean, I could probably get something on this side. But that's what you deal with a lot of time with these rocks is just there. Sometimes you'll get a dud where you can't engrave. So like if you buy a bag of them, expect there to be maybe a half of them wouldn't be worth engraving. But you may find a use for them any, anyways. But really what you want is something more of like a disc, like flat and round at the same time. Uh, kind of like a plate almost so that's really what you want but you're going to get a rock like this and I'm using black acrylic paint um, and I'll show you guys the process I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it if you learn something and you like the content be sure you leave a like and subscribe all that good stuff and uh, I'll try to do another video uh, in a couple days going over pictures again um, seems like you guys like that so maybe I can throw some more hints out there and tips and tricks and all that and get you guys uh, engraving some you know kick-ass pictures but here we go all right so here's the picture I'm using this is my goofy little boy who made this wonderful face we found on uh, his mom's phone when he was playing with the camera um, but you know what better what better face to put on a, a rock than that but anyways, uh, to get this thing rolling, I got this imported on my board here. Now, I have a camera installed on my Lightburn. Uh, this is a super cool feature. If you can afford to get one and get, get it working, it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Um, it'll help you play stuff on the board, and just it'll just look cooler. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and update the overlay. And you can see it takes what is on my table here sticks it right on the board and it's fairly accurate I mean you can dial it in and get this thing like spot-on accurate where you don't have to worry about placing anything mine's not that accurate but uh, I'm working on it one thing I can do real quick um, we can actually pretty neat trick is you can take and trace your bed so let's say we only wanted this rock here just circle that and look you've got an outline of it you see that I'd have to move it over and get it away from this tape to get a better outline but we're not gonna worry about any of that today actually that's just a neat little trick what we're going to do is probably we're gonna have to make us a little oval so we need to make a cut line red all right so now you would take like his head here and we just want to make it fit all in this I don't even care if it looks good on the rock we just want to get the picture on there so all right so now that you've got that done you would take both you want to click highlight both the circle you just made in the picture and then you want to go to apply apply mask to image and that will cut off that excess it only leaves what's in the red circle it's a really nifty trick and then flatten the mask and that will get rid of almost all of that and you can resize this a little bit more to make it fit better so it's not hanging off too bad 
and there we go. We've got our image placed where we need it. So uh, that's mostly the light burn side. I'm going to go in and right click the image and go to adjust image. Make sure we got a Jarvis dither pattern. We're going to be engraving this twice. So you're going to be doing it the first time regular. You're not going to do a negative image. It's just going to be a regular old outline, regular old engraving. And uh, before I put it in there, I'm going to change a couple things. I always enhance by like 50. This is just basically sharpening your image. See those dots? Tightens them up and makes them look nice. So that's that's what your laser is engraving right there. All those little dots when it runs across, it's firing over each one of those dots, and that's how it works. So we'll look at that and see how your dot pattern looks. That doesn't look like a bad one to me, and. Uh, we do have, uh, we saved it as 325 DPI resolution in Photoshop when we did our little edit here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make that match uh, the DPI output on Lightburn. And that'll just make the, the dots one to one, and they should be, it should make a really good image. All right, so there we have it. He's on the rock. I'm going to get everything cut on, and we're going to start this bad boy. All right, guys, so we're letting this thing run right now. We're using a 100-watt CO2. I'm uh, running 25 power and 200 speed. And uh, we're going to let this thing play out and see what it looks like. Dropped my camera there. That probably wasn't too fun, but <laughs> either way, um, one thing you're going to notice is that this is going to look terrible. It isn't going to look good at all this first time around. Basically, what we're wanting to do is just uh, etch off that rock and expose that inner rock so that paint will stick better. Well, there it is. It's beautiful, huh? That's just gorgeous. Now, uh, give me a second. I'm going to blow some the air off, and we're going to use... Let me grab the paint real quick so you can see it. It's this stuff here. Just Black Noir Mate Matte Acrylic Paint. That's what I'll be using today. And uh, let me get that this thing cleaned off, and we'll start painting, painting it. All right, once we get that all blown off and everything, you're going to get your paint and you're going to lightly go over the engraving with the black uh, acrylic paint. You don't want to glob it on there because that'll make it harder to engrave through. Just a light layer over it and um, let it dry. You want to make sure it's completely dry before you start engraving. So let's move on. While we're waiting on that paint to dry, we're going to go back into Lightburn and we're going to change a couple things in Lightburn. So uh, we're going to open this layer back up, and we're going to change this to a negative image. What that means is it's going to go through, and where the white is, is where it's actually going to laser, and it's going to leave the black areas alone. The reason why we want to do that is the paint is a dark image, or it's a it's a dark surface and when you engrave you're exposing the lighter surfaces so you want to make sure that when, what you're engraving is brighter than the than than, than your surface essentially it, it's just reverse but um, you want to make sure you're doing that um, a good thing to do before you do that before you actually hit it is to go up here to your preview button check it out make sure it's actually inverted so I don't think that this is say let's double check it nope it did not save it as a negative image so that's why it's a good thing we double check that click OK go back up to your preview and now this is what should be outputting so you can see that's what we're well, that's what we're going for doesn't mean we'll get it but that's definitely what we're going for now over here I'm change a couple of our settings here. I'm going to change my maximum power. I'm going to change this down to 22. Minimum power is going to be zero. I just leave it there. Um, I'm going to do a dot width correction on this. And right now we're at a 0.78. You see my line interval? You want to make sure that your dot width correction isn't larger than your line interval. It will look really bad. You don't want to go too small either. It will look bad. Um, we're going to keep it at 0.7 though. We're only going to do one pass, and uh, I think other than that, we're done. So at this point, um, 
just want to let the paint dry a little bit more which it's dry right now actually but so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click start but if your paint's not dry you want to make sure that's dry first or it won't look as good but let's hit start and get this bad boy rolling All right, so as you guys can see, we did get the image on that rock. It does look pretty neat. Now, there is some issues. Certain areas didn't engrave as well as I'd like them to, and that's mainly because the rock had a pretty severe curve. What I should have done was tighten that image up and made it a little smaller so it only um, was hitting on those flat surfaces. But I kind of wanted to make it big so you could see the details more. But it, it bit me in the butt in the end, especially right there at the chin. You can see how dark it is and just stopped engraving as well. But if you learned something, leave a like. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video.